Hello guys, it's Miss Laura again. I'm going to read to you today, No Moon, No Milk. Look at the cow. How do you think the cow is feeling? I don't think he's feeling too good. Alright, let's start. I'm going to put my glasses on so I can see. There we go. And this book is written by Chris Babcock. What do you think he's getting ready to do? There's a bucket. And there's the cow. Let's see. When Rob came to milk his cow one early morning, he found that her udder was dry and her eyes were wet. Martha, you're crying. Are you sick? Rob asked. Yes, sick of being a cow. It's eat grass, get milked, eat grass, get milked. Martha drew in a quivering breath. I want to do more than cow around in a pasture all my life. I think she's had enough. Look at that. Where else would you like to cow around? Rob asked as he looked into his empty bucket. The moon, Martha announced. You can only go to the moon if you're an astronaut, Rob said. Or a cow's monot, Martha declared. I'm not sure they let cattle into the space program, Rob said. My great-great-grandmother jumped over the moon. If she can jump it, I can walk it. <laughs> oh, look at Rob scratching his head. He doesn't know. Ooh. But I never promised you the moon, Rob said. Now do me a favor and let down some of your milk. Martha shook her head back and forth, flinging her tears through the air. No moon, no milk, she bellowed. Wow, she really wants to go to the moon. Ooh, where are they at now? That's not the moon. But Rob knew there was no way to take Martha to the moon, so he took her to Venice Beach in Southern California instead. Oh, guess what they're doing? Oh, hang ten, Martha! Rob shouted. Did you know there's not a drop of water for surfing on the moon? Cows don't surf, Martha said. I know, I know, Rob said. No moon, no milk. No moon, no milk, Martha confirmed. Does she look like she's having fun on the surfboard? I don't think she's having fun on the surfboard. What are they getting ready to get on? Hmm. But Rob knew there was no way to take Martha to the moon. So he took her to Crater Lake National Park in Oregon instead. Ooh, look at that. Look at the lake. Look, Martha, a real crater, Rob said. I'll bet craters on the moon are much more mysterious, Martha groaned. But Martha, a cow won't fit into a spaceship. Rob cried, no moon, no milk, she said. I'm telling you. Hmm, I wonder where he's going to take her next. Uh-oh. Where do you think they're at? But Rob knew he couldn't take Martha to the moon, so he took her to Radio City Music Hall in New York City instead. Look, they got out of the cab. Look at her face. How does she look? I think she looks a little scared. Martha, it's the Rockettes, Rob said. Rockettes? Where are the Rockets? Martha asked, craning her neck. Not Rockets, Martha. Rockettes. They're dancers, and you can bet there's no dancing like that on the moon. 
There's the Rockettes up there dancing. I don't want to dance on the moon. I just want to walk on it, Martha wailed. And as she took off down the aisle and out the door, she cried. And if you won't take me to the moon, I'll get there by myself. Rob threw up his hands in frustration and ran after his stampeding cow. She's trying to get to the moon in the worst way. <laughs> Look at her running down the street. When he saw she was heading for Central Park, he hopped a bus, hoping to head her off uptown. Central Park is a very big park in New York City. Look. Meanwhile, Martha caught up to a passel of skaters darting through the park. Excuse me, but could you direct me to the moon? Martha asked as she trotted alongside them. Follow this path and hang a left at the fountain, a skater replied. Martha mooed her thanks and galloped on. You think she's going to find the moon in the park? I don't know. Let's see. Rob had just gotten off the bus across from the American Museum of Natural History when Martha rounded the corner and came to a complete hoof sliding halt in front of him. A science museum, Martha moaned. What on earth can a cow do in a science museum? There's a replica of the lunar surface you can walk on, Rob offered. Ooh. Martha was already across the street and through the front doors of the museum before he finished his sentence. Wow, she's excited. Oh. Restrain that bovine, a guard cried as Martha galloped by. I hope this works, Rob said to himself as he borrowed a space helmet from a display case and ran after his cow. Oh, look, she's running. It says lunar surface, which lunar is another name for the moon. Meanwhile... The whole picture. Check out Martha. She got up on the wagon. Meanwhile, Martha had lost the guard in the domesticated animals exhibit. I swear I saw a cow run through here, the guard exclaimed to the curious onlookers. See the guard? He can't see Martha. He thinks he's, she's part of the display. As soon as the crowd in the guard had disappeared, Martha headed for the moon. Rob was waiting for her there with a space helmet. Check it out. I pronounce Martha Bovon a true cosmonaut, Rob said, as he slipped the helmet on her head. Then Rob unhooked the red rope that hung across the path to the lunar surface and bowed. As Martha put her first hoof on the moon, she said, one small step for cow, one giant leap for cow kind. <laughs> huh, check out Martha. Martha had walked all the way over to where the American flag was planted when the guard finally found her. Cow on the moon? Cow on the moon? The guard shouted. Uh, he's on his walkie-talkie. He must be getting back up. Ooh. Check it out. Look where she's running. Back to Earth, Martha Rob yelled, and they both ran through the museum and out the back exit, leaving the breathless guard far behind. They ran out. So... How was it to cow around on the moon, Martha? Rob asked as he squirted milk into his bucket the very next morning. Oh, it was okay, Martha said. Okay, Rob explained. Just okay? Yeah, now I know why my great-great-grandmother didn't stop to cow around up there. Why? asked Rob. There's no grass, Martha said. She look happy now? And Rob's getting his milk. All right. The end. All right.
Until the next book. Talk to you guys later.